Welcome to HP Tuner's for Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 45. This training module we're going to be exploring working with our shift pressure and our shift times to be getting a firmer shift and a faster shift. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our shift pressures and our shift properties to get firmer and faster shifts on our 6R80 transmissions. Now, this tutorial we're going to be jumping in taking a look at all the various tables and breaking down how it all fits together. Understanding the programming logic and then pairing it to the tables helps tremendously so that when you're trying to figure out exactly what to do for your trans tune, you can review your data logs, you can see exactly what's going on and make adjustments to the correct tables. Let's jump in here, let's take a look at what we're gonna be working with and then we're gonna move right into talking about the different phases we have for both the, the shift pressure and shift properties. We have a torque and inertia phase, and we'll talk about what goes on in there and spotting all of the key areas and looking at how that corresponds from a screenshot into the tables of where we're making our adjustments, and then ultimately what we're trying to go after here. So first things first, I have the calibration file we're working with in the last tutorial looking at our shift scheduling. That's the same exact calibration file that we're dealing with here. I've just relabeled it here, shift pressures. Now, I'm gonna go in here to engine, and I mentioned this in the last tutorial. Because I'm a flex fuel based tune, and each time I'm flashing the vehicle, it's having to relearn the inferred stoich, and we're finding that it's starting off at petrol fuel when I have ethanol in the tank. To speed this process up here a little bit, and so I don't have to run it and drive it on the dyno, so we can move a little bit quicker through the tutorial, I'm gonna go in here under the engine tab, under the fuel tab, and here under our stoich AFR initial, and this is gonna go, I'm gonna set it to 10.5 to one stoich. Same thing here if it goes into its uh, fail safe mode. That way it can just learn from that point. So it's getting me closer to the actual ethanol content I have in the fuel system, which is a 70, 75%. It can learn and figure out the rest from that point. This is just to speed things up so we're not going in and uh, we're, we're not essentially starting off on a petrol stoich point and trying to learn our way up to whatever it's going to end up at for the ethanol content in our system. So I wanted to make that change real quick so we're not doing that all throughout the tutorial or having to drive it more through that tutorial just as we found in that last training module. Let's go up here into trans and we're going to move here from our general tab. We did shift scheduling on our last tutorial we'll talk about that's our shifting up shift down shifts. We have everything mapped out there. We essentially brought in our sport mode into our base just for testing. We tweaked some things. We played with our clutch fill times, which extended out our RPM a little bit in the gears. We were actually short shifting a little bit, extended those out. It seemed like it was good. So now if we jump in here to shift pressures and shift properties, this is what we're going to be focusing our attention on for this tutorial. We're going to find under shift pressures, this is handling the pressure for the ongoing and offgoing clutches. This is going to give us our firmness in our shifts. We can see here, looking under general, we have a whole bunch of things we can change. One thing I want to point out right now is I typically don't alter or change really much of anything in here except the max pressure. Right now it's set to a default of 150 PSI. If I'm going with a force induction application, supercharged, turbocharged, and I'm going to need more clamping force on my clutches, I'm going to need higher pressure to be able to make those clutches work and hold the higher torque output. Or if you really want firm shifts out of your transmission, you can go in here and change your max pressure up to 250 PSI without worrying about damaging anything. I wanted to mention that real quick. I'm not gonna change that here because I'm naturally aspirated with bolt-ons. I don't need any more pressure in my transmission control. So one thing I want to point out there. There's an upshift routine here for shift pressures. There's ongoing and offgoing clutches. There's also shift select. What this is going to allow us to do is specify at a certain amount of torque for the engine. So it's gonna be engine brake torque parameter that we can log in our VCM scanner. And here, let's take a look real quick and at a certain turbine speed, which is our input shaft speed, we will go in here and ask for more PSI. This is gonna give us, um, on the ongoing or offgoing clutches, more firmness. By increasing this at a reasonable amount, this will actually speed up the shift a little bit, also make it a little bit firmer because it's going to be putting more pressure on our clutches. So it's gonna be speeding things up a little bit. That's for the upshift. We have things for the downshift here. I typically don't touch the downshift. Usually only touch the upshift because that's really what I'm going after. And when I'm really dialing things in here, I'm going to essentially bypass anything in part throttle. I want the transmission to drive relatively smooth. I don't need to have that firm shift in part throttle. 
So when I do alter these tables, as we'll find here, I'm gonna be doing primarily here at our higher torque and our higher engine turbine speeds here, engine speed, turbine speed, it's pretty much interchangeable. As long as our converter is locked, we'll find that the turbine speed is gonna match our input shaft speed is gonna match our engine speed. But we're gonna be editing our area here. We can actually get a better idea of where we're at using a histogram in our VCM scanner as we're gonna talk about here. So that's gonna be our shift pressures. This is gonna control our firmness somewhat. There are some other aspects to control firmness, but we do have here under shift properties, we have the ability to control our firmness and our shift times. We actually wanna quicken up our shift time. That's one thing we can drastically improve from the factory calibration in these tables. The shift time is a lot to be desired. It's slow to say the least, so we can speed that up. Now it's not gonna be as fast as the dual cuts trans, it just never is going to be, but we can definitely cut our shift times in half. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.